Welcome back! Or should I say, welcome me back? <laughs> long time coming but I needed to update you guys it's been a wild ride I think um, last you heard of me I was working as a nurse um, and going to school um, eight months later here I am no longer working as a nurse and currently seven months pregnant. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yep, yeah, that's what's happened. <laughs> I've had to quit my job because it was just too much for me to handle. Let me see if I can set you guys in a better place because... All right, I don't know how this setup is gonna work. Um, we'll see if it works. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so I'm getting ready because we're going to go have a little night before 4th of July celebration with the family. So I'm going to get ready. It is currently 3 p.m. And we are to see, so our church is having like a, a pre-4th of July event where we're having a worship night and then it's like a family game night plus fireworks. So, that's what we're doing. It's at 6.30, it's currently 3.30. So, I have three hours to get ready still. I just don't wanna be rushing, I don't wanna be, I wanna be ready by the time we need to go. So, I, when I do my makeup, I normally start my skincare. Um, but I already did it. <laughs> but, I'm gonna show you what I used. So currently I use the Dr. Idris skincare line because she is like the best dermatologist. If you don't follow her, what are you doing? <laughs> because she has taught me so much. I used to break out a lot from my face, a lot of acne, and she kind of, I watched her YouTube videos and I learned a lot from her and she came out with her skincare line, which I am currently obsessed with. So anyways, I start with Dr. Idris Major Fade Serum, and then I do her Major Fade Active Seal, and then um, I use a sunscreen. Uh, currently using this one. <laughs> I think it's just a random sunscreen. I don't even remember. I can't tell the brand. Set of fill? Let me look it up. Yes, Cetaphil sunscreen. It's um 50. Yep, SPF 50. <laughs> I have to use mineral sunscreen because chemical sunscreens make my face itchy. So that's what I use Cetaphil. Or I tried using Beauty of I don't know how to say it. Jos Joson, Beauty of Joson, but I actually think it started drying me out in my mustache area. So I took a break from it and went back to this. It seems to be working. However, when I'm doing my makeup, oh, I can't show it to you guys because I ran out. I use the Tatcha sunscreen that is SPF 50 as well. So let me just like start. <laughs> I'm gonna add more sunscreen because I've been running around all day um, doing things. But, so I was working night shift as a nurse um, and I was actually loving my actual job when I was there I loved my job I loved every second of it I loved my co-workers it was like the best job I've ever had I was very happy um, it was stressful because I mean nursing can be stressful but um, like my co-workers made it manageable um, However, I started feeling very sleep deprived because I think, so when I first started, my mom was actually babysitting Nathan 
Uh, so I would work Saturday, Sunday night. And then, so sun, Sunday night, I would work, come back Monday morning, and my mom used to care, take care of Nathan. However, she got a job, like a second job, and she basically couldn't take care of him anymore on Monday mornings. So it meant I didn't sleep until he took a nap, and his naps were only two hours long. Um, which meant... I wasn't getting any sleep at all, barely any sleep. And to top it off, I was in school. I currently still in school, but I'm about to finish. Um, yeah, so I was in school, currently about to finish, but it was just mentally too much. Uh, just the lack of sleep itself, even though it was just one day, it carried on throughout the whole week. And then when I had finally catched up or felt like I had caught up in my sleep, I had to go back to work. So it, the cycle continued. And unexpectedly, but expectedly, we were going to decided that we wanted to try for another baby. And... Um, we were like, okay, you know, it shouldn't happen right away, right? <clears throat> well, we got pregnant the first month that we tried. And um, this was in January. I found out I was pregnant and I was diagnosed with gestational hypertension my first trimester. So technically it's not called gestational hypertension, it's called chronic hypertension um, even though it happens during pregnancy it's happening before I think it's 20 weeks or something like that um, I'm not an LND nurse so I forget but um, yeah so I got diagnosed with I, I started getting high blood pressures in my appointments and um, I wasn't sleeping and I was currently, even though I left my job, I was currently being placed in positions at my job where I didn't feel comfortable with because I wasn't even there for a year. So I felt like the positions they were putting me in were not, I was just shouldn't be doing those positions yet. I did not, I did not feel prepared. So I was really stressed out and um, I decided that because of previous losses and my pregnancy with Nathan, I decided that I needed to quit. So I quit, I think in February. I don't remember exactly the dates, but my year at work was going to be in April but I quit I want to say in February so I almost made it which was kind of sad because I mean I would have liked my year of experience after being like a new grad but I didn't get to finish but I felt like my family my pregnancy was more important my sleep my sanity was more important so that's what we did I quit um my first trimester was very hard I was nauseous all the time. I was super tired. Um, having a toddler was really hard. I was trying to manage, you know, my sickness, my tiredness, but also trying to keep my toddler busy and happy and content. So it was kind of hard for me during that time. And then second trimester was easier. However, I felt like I had neglected my home <laughs> that whole first trimester that I struggled to get back into the routine and I was very anxious because my blood pressure kept being high at um, the doctor's office. However, at home it was normal so I knew it was anxiety. So then I had to deal with my anxiety. It's, I mean, my blood pressure is still high whenever I go into the doctor's office. But um, I am trying to I'm in a better place mentally now at home than I was <clears throat> back a few months ago 
so yes i am currently almost due i'm actually like two months away um actually maybe a month away almost like a month and a half um i'm like a month and a half away if not two um only because they might they said that they might induce me as a result of my blood pressure i'm currently a procardia which is helping with the blood pressure with my blood pressure it's maintaining it at a normal level um but they since they they said that since my blood pressure is continuously high every time i go into the doctor's office whether it's anxiety or not they say they can't ignore the fact that every time i go in it's high they said that at 36 weeks they are gonna run um they're gonna do labs on me and depending on the results they might choose to induce at 37 weeks so that gives me i am currently 31 weeks pregnant so that gives me about six weeks <laughs> if we if they induce at 37 weeks if not then i have a few more weeks but that is my plan in my head. That is what I am telling myself that I only have six weeks to prepare. Okay. By the way, if you cared about what I'm doing, I use the Anastasia Bra Freeze in the pot with a ColourPop dark brown eyebrow pencil. Um, next, I'm going to use my concealer from Born This Way Concealer. I need a new one. Like, it's about to finish. So, I also need to go and get me some concealer. Um, but, yeah. So, that's the update on that. So, I haven't been here because I was basically sleep deprived. And then, I got pregnant and became an anxious ball of, uh, what, what would you say? it? An anxious... An anxious ball <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I am I became an anxious ball I really missed being here um, talking to you guys I enjoyed it okay, bye -bye. Um, I was supposed to record this video um, while he was snapping but the camera died um, yeah so I also have a new camera I'm so excited um, Lalo got it for me for my birthday uh, reminded me that I love doing this and I'm excited and obviously I got like super like excited and started planning all the videos that I was gonna make but I was like I need to explain myself before I just continue like nothing happened so here I am um, I didn't know how to like tell you guys I guess or how to come back but I figured you guys being all up in my face would be the right way to to tell you um but yeah so um let's see what else should i update you on um if you follow me on instagram you will see that i already had my gender reveal so i know what i'm having which mm, we're having a girl and we already had my baby shower this past Saturday, I do have some clips, so I'll insert some so you guys could see the theme. It was a tea party theme, and I enjoyed it a lot. Um, so, yeah, that's what we did this past Saturday. And, um, yeah, I have a few more things to share with you guys. I have already made some videos um, to share. That I don't know if you will want to see or not, but we're still very much a Disney family, so I have Disney videos coming up. Um, anyways, I have a lot of ideas, a lot of videos planned to share. Um, I'm basically a stay at home mom now. Um, I don't know if I will be going back to work. Um, I admire those moms that are doing the whole thing and can work and take care of their babies but I honestly I am not very good at handling stress and 
when it comes to my kids surprisingly because before i had kids this this was not me i like i thrived in stress full situations but now i worry too much about my kids um about who's gonna take care of them i have no family members who i can like drop them off to um i just it's i can't and the way that things happen at daycares and stuff i just don't trust it and because we have the means for me to stay home, I think that is what we've decided for now. Um, yeah, Nathan is now three years old. <clears throat> oh, um, for my foundation, I use Beautiful Skin by Charlotte, Tur by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I only use one pump because I don't need that much. Um, but I think I was saying that Nathan is now three years old. Um, so it's about time to start looking into preschool, but, um, I'm actually thinking after much prayer and talk with Lalo, um, I think we're going to be trying out homeschool. Um, in California, kids don't need to be enrolled in school until they are six years old. Um, so it gives us a few trial years to see how I do as a homeschooling mama, um, which is fair because, I mean, at least until our second baby is a little bit older, I won't be going back to work. Um, it depends because I'm also considering doing like a per diem job as a nurse because um, I really miss it. So I might do a per diem job, meaning it'll be like a shift a week and it'll probably be like a day shift. So it might be like a weekend, either a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday, um, which means Lala would be here and we will have someone to be here with Nathan um, and the new baby. So um, that is the plan for now. The plan for now is to homeschool Nathan. So I have videos to share with you guys about that. But yeah, I think that's all the updates. Um, yeah, I will show you a bump pick once I'm finished getting ready. So you guys can see how big I've gotten actually. Um. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm going to use Good Energy Bronzer Stick by Rare Beauty. And then for my blush, I'm going to use also Rare Beauty, and I'll probably be using Joy for that. And then just my eyelashes are pretty basic. Um, I use this Mexican Mascara. Because this is the only thing that keeps them up besides waterproof mascara. And I don't want to use waterproof mascara because it was irritating my eyes. And then the telescopic mascara regular on top of this to make my eyelashes longer. And then Charlotte Tilbury, the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray at the top. And I'm really bad at pushing my hair back um, when I'm doing my makeup. But I really should. Because then... I can't even get into these crevices and then I end up getting foundation into my hair. But um yeah, it's basically all that's left to put on. Um I'll be curling my lashes with just a regular eyelash curler. And then I've really been into putting um brown eyeliner. So I use a color pop um liquid liner in the shade. Grande, I think. It's brown. So, um, yeah, because I also tried, because um, I felt like I was running out of that one really quickly. So then I asked the Ulta lady that was working there which one she recommended. And she said the Real Extreme Precision Liner. But this sucks. I hate this. I hate this. It does not go on smoothly at all. Like it does, it does nothing. For me um so color pop it is but that's it you guys i will show you guys my makeup when i'm done and then i will show you guys a bump um 
above view <laughs> so you guys can see in fully how I look at um, 31 weeks pregnant all right you guys this is the final look um, I ended up straining my hair a little bit because it was wild I just needed to tame it I didn't completely strain it but I just fixed it because it had like a little you know the little wave you get when your hair's been up all day that's what was going on um, but yeah this is the final look let me go show you guys um, the belly All right, you guys, so that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed. I am so happy to be back. This makes me so, so happy. And please stick around. There's a few more videos coming your way. And I will see you next time. Bye.